Are we I live? Know. I think we're, I I think don't we're know. probably live. We're making fools of ourselves. Yeah, that we're means live. We must be live. There's a commercial over there that we're having to turn down now. We're live. Happens every time. Happy Friday it's night. Friday. It's, Friday. it's Friday. We love Fridays around here. Uh, my name is Eric Morton. My name is Jill Diffendall. We are your host tonight for Boxed In. Uh, your ghost. Oh, wait, no, Halloween. Everybody's Sorry. favorite show about opening things from primarily Disney sources, yes. also from bourbon sources. Bourbon, bourbon and Disney, a match made sources. in heaven. Yeah. So um, we love One having goes you. better with the other. Yeah, we love having you hang out with us every, uh, like, a, like a happy hour vibe yeah. every Friday night. Right here on the Unplanned Downtime channel. And we I had a great week. How about you? I had a good week, too. It was fun. Super rainy and, like, dark and kind of blustery today. Here. But I need to take this. I need to pick this bone with you as someone who's lived in Florida a long time. I moved down here thinking it was going to be warm. And then it got cold. What's going on, Eric? Florida got cold. This yeah, well, it usually it's it rains raining, in Florida. It's, all day. it's like 67 degrees. It's not Cold. that bad. <laughs> and this is every now and then just to remind us how lucky we are oh, okay. here in so Florida. That brings up a good point. It was rough for the 5K this morning. Oh, oh right. Today yeah. was and it hasn't let up. Oh. It's been raining all day. I went to I went Wine to Disney Springs. Yeah. I went to Disney Springs today. Yeah. Axel and I covered the new holiday menu Jock items Lindsay's. at Jock Lindsay's Hangar. And um, yeah, I had the big, I took the big golf umbrella today though. I was prepared. That's smart. Yeah. That's smart. Every now and then I do something smart. Not very often. I'll try not to make it a habit. Also, uh, the Disney, Gen another, our final Disney Genie yeah, video dropped this week over on our now. main channel, did all four parks. So those are done. That was quite a chore. We had a good time, but also it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. So, uh, yes. People are asking about your shirt. My shirt? Uh, this is pronounced, uh, I believe, gombo, almost like the word combo. And this is like your word for best friend. Uh, and this is from Squid Game. This is oh. this is from Squid Game on Netflix. Oh. So, uh, yeah, I'm not. I didn't find a sponsorship this by a weird. This is called company. Epcot. Yeah. Epcot. Jill, did I don't you? know if you've heard of it. I've heard of it. Now, did you get your hair? Did you change your hair? Did you change your hair, Eric? Did we both change it? Did we get low ratings last week and decide that the problem was our hair? We decided that we owed you guys, that our ratings may have been slipping a little last week, and we owed you guys better hair. Did you go to Sport Clips, too? I did not. That's not where I went. Good went. deals. They got it's good not, deals at Sport Clips. not how girls Get the work. MVP. They... I'm pretty sure I couldn't get this color at Sport Clips. I know. You can always try. Yeah. Um... We have uh, Poppy's in the house, Jake's in the house, Lee's in the house, uh, full crew, and we have plenty to show you tonight. We have lots of good stuff. Uh, to get started, we always do a bourbon. We do. Um, and we I assume this is a bourbon because it came from one of our viewers by the name of Chuck. You might know him as More Beverly, please. And it kind of sounded like liquid in there. All right, I take your word for it. You inspected if, this. If package. it's not bourbon, I do have a backup bourbon. Okay, good. I was gonna say, like, we're we're banking on this being a bourbon, right? We need right. this to we be got, bourbon. For this the arrived at the studio in celebration. And uh, where's that knife? Direct from our studio in celebration. Where's that knife? There's a red knife in that drawer. It's not right drawer. Further, yeah. There you go. We got a lot of drawers. I don't know where anymore. All of our light switches, by the way, are still labeled. Uh, this is. Uh, a couple days ago marked one year since we bought this house. Yeah. And yeah, we still have stickers on all the light switches because we, cause we're, like we're stupid, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like that like, strays into the realm of first world problems. I, I didn't say it was a problem. I don't know what light I didn't say it was a problem. All right. Oh, we have a letter. Comes with a letter. Once again, alcohol in lieu of artistic talent, but we do what we can. Sorry, Eric, we are out of Jay Rieger, uh, which is a Kansas City bourbon, which oh. I will be sampling Thanksgiving. And uh, But this looked interesting. I hope to see you guys uh, when we're there um, soon, November 7th. Oh, soon. soon. So That's thank you, Chuck. Like next week. Next week. Oh, let us know when you're around. Although, on November 11th. This is starting this weekend. November on November 11th, 11th, we're out of here. We are on our way. To Louisville. 
I like this. We got a couple leaves. Louisville. Jason a couple Jason leaves from Nebraska. Oh, hi, brother. Mm -hmm. Jason, I have stories to tell you. Oh, no. Just FYI. It looks like a brown liquid leaf. It sure it's does. It's definitely bourbon. It looks like. It looks like a brand I know. So, I have a story. I know what this brand is. And I'm, let's open it up and show everybody, and then I'm going to tell my little bit of a story. This is Barrel Armida or Armida. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm going to say Armida. Barrel is, for those that don't know, Barrel, they're not a distillery. They are like blenders of bourbon, right? So they travel around and they find bourbons they like, and then they put them in like casks and try to blend and them and blend. age them in barrels and all this kind of stuff. It is a World Spirits Competition gold medal winner, according wow. to this little taggy tag right here. Mm -hmm. Distilled in Tennessee, which we think usually when bourbon says it's distilled in Tennessee, that means it's from the Dickel Distillery. Although what makes this bourbon different appears to not be where it was distilled, but how it was aged. It was finished in... Get this. So all bourbons are aged in new oak charred oak barrels so this bourbon was aged in an oak barrel like every other bourbon or we couldn't call it bourbon however and then, then they take it out of the oak and they put it into other barrels and what they put it into was okay. three different types of casks a uh, pear brandy cask okay a rum cask okay and sicilian amaro cask Oh. I don't know what Amaro is. Is that, he's I the, don't know, but it's Italian. he's like in charge of Chat, Disney parks, help right? Us out. What mm -hmm. is, is this Josh a Josh Amaro. Amaro bourbon? Mm -hmm. Tell us what Sicilian Amaro is. This is 56. Is it a liqueur? 56.41% alcohol. Okay. A beautiful bottle. It's an interesting color, right? It's almost like a butterscotch looking color. Golden. Yeah. Carmel so here gold. you go. Lee, show the people. So I want to tell this story real quick about uh, barrel bourbon while we're showing off this bottle and, and opening it up. Uh, the very first bourbon I ever sort of like started drinking in my bourbon journey was a bottle of barrel. And it from was a Chuck. Bottle of barrel from Chuck. So last year at Thanksgiving time, Eric was visiting family in Kansas City and I was coming into town and he was like, oh, you can stay at the apartment. Lee and I won't be there. We'll leave you the key. You can come stay, and you're welcome to have any bourbon you'd like, except for Blanton's and Colonel Taylor. Correct. But there were like eight other. She was an amateur. She did. She, she was not amateur. a seasoned bourbon drinker. And like, at the time. also, I don't like, want her mixing it with like I'm ginger not, ale. I'm not gonna drink your 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 Blanton's yeah. or your Colonel Taylor without you. Like I will right. drink it with you, but I'm not gonna drink it without you. So the bourbon I pour, pulled out of the cabinet was a bottle of barrel. Not this. But we actually still have the bottle over there. I can grab it and show you. Uh, this was the bottle of barrel that Chuck gave you, that Chuck sent you. And then um, this was the first bourbon I ever really drank when I started drinking bourbon. And now and look so at So now her. flash forward, like a year later, he's sending us more barrel. And now she of... drinks bourbon in front of tens of people. Tens of people. The other thing I want to say is when I was in New York two weeks ago, also I, was, I was steered towards a bottle of barrel number four that was on the bourbon list at a bar I went to. A well-regarded bourbon. A well-regarded bourbon. It is barrel finished in rum casks and it was exquisite. So I have high hopes for this. You ready? Yes, I am. That is my barrel bourbon journey. Probably not supposed to drink it on the rocks, but here we did. I spill a little. I spill a couple drops. Oh, let's see what happens. It's all right. Oh, it smells. This is interesting. This is not like any bourbon I've smelled. This before. doesn't smell like your typical bourbon. This is a weird one. Let's give it a taste. Okay, you ready? Mmm. There's a lot of brandy in there. There's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. The layers are unpacking themselves one it's, by one. It's not thick, but the feel of it is thick like a brandy. Like you absolutely get, I think, a very forward brandy feel. 
where it's like sweeter and spicy and, and a little like, butterscotch in there. There's it's definitely aromatic. I know not everyone tunes in just to watch us drink bourbon, but we do it every show. So this thank you very really much, Chuck. I, thank you, Chuck. This is like I will continue to drink this throughout bourbon. the episode. This is I've never drank anything quite like this. This is a really unique bourbon. It's like it's a little bit. Ooh, that herby. one's totally different. Yeah, it's a little bit herby and sweet and spicy. It's got a lot. It's it's very complex. So there it is. Barrel Armida. Barrel, Barrel Armida. Armida. Award winning. Could be Armida. Award winning. Let's not be ridiculous. It got gold medal in a World <laughs> Spirit Competition in San Francisco. Sicilian. I still want to know what Sicilian Amaro is. I don't know what it is. We'll figure it out. Okay. We got a ton of stuff that we bought. But there's so much other things for us to show you. So let's move on to those Jason other things. Jason said maybe he'd even like that bird. I want to start with this. Everybody's seen Dare it, but we dream, haven't Jason. unboxed one yet. Dare to dream. Your standard Mickey popcorn bucket. Lee, would you like to start? The 50th anniversary Mickey popcorn bucket. He's got shiny gold shoes. Shiny gold details on his outfit. Shiny. He's got a door in his head. I'd rather be shiny. I'll talk about his butt. Lee likes to talk about the butt. He's got his fingers crossed behind his back. <laughs> Sure, I'll make you a good deal, pal. <laughs> Genie will get you where you want to go. Also, he does not hold a lot of popcorn. I almost finished him myself. Tom claims they all Did hold the same amount of popcorn. Did you put inside the bucket? They do. That's how you, they, when I bought it, they handled it. Oh, look at this. It's got a bottle of Maker's Mark. <laughs> a place we're going. It's got a bottle of Jim Beam. Oh, we're not going <laughs> So, uh, yeah, 20 bucks. Not bad. Some little chunks of popcorn left over. I'm probably not going to eat Refills, that. $2. Refills are two bucks. Haul this bad boy Ask to the park for with it you. without, and I'll give you it separate. So, there's our Mickey You may hear our uh, stage manager talking. She's just giving it, offering us directions. Tell us so what's what next. What do we want to go with next? Um, let's, let's go with our, our let's, Animal Kingdom goodies. Animal Kingdom stuff. So. I took a little trip to Animal Kingdom on Wednesday, Eric, because there was merch afoot. Me too. Wait, when did we record our Animal Kingdom? Oh, that's Monday. Monday. You guys went Monday. So uh, Tuesday night, a little buzz went around the uh, Disney whatever. Blogosphere. Sphere, blogosphere. That there was a new magic band at Animal Kingdom celebrating the 20th anniversary of the much beloved... Triceratops spin. If I could spin it on my finger, I'd you spin. could. I know. Can't do that. And so I had to run out immediately because this is a limited edition 1000 Magic Band, which is like catnip to the Magic Band collector. Because Ellie, like Ellie 1000, is there are a few they've released that are. WandaVision. Less. I have a WandaVision. I think that's a thousand. Right. But there, there are very few that have come out that are below a thousand. And are also uh, attraction based. Especially that are attraction based. Uh, I think the lowest one I have might be there's a Great Mouse Detective one that might be seven fifty, but there's like there aren't a lot that are. This is a small run for a limited edition Magic Band, and so I had to run out and get it, and here it is. And I wanted to bring it to you guys and show you, because it's so cute. It is so cute. I've ridden Triceratops spin one time in my whole entire life. It was the weeks the parks reopened last year. Uh, Tom Corliss uh, was on the same so ride that I was cool. on. I, I feel like I can say this after doing the four Genie videos. I rode, I don't think we rode Magic Carpets. But you, but you have ridden But I've ridden carpets. it. I think Triceratops Spin is the best iteration of that ride. ride. Of, oh. of the, yeah, I mean. You I get, would ride Triceratops you, you Spin a, before I ran, rode Dumbo. Oh, or Astro Orbiter, right? And... Um, Astro Orbiter's got the views. Astro, oh yeah, but you're afraid of heights. I don't want to hear it. Um, Astro Orbiter is, you pull more, G like Astro Orbiter is a little bit more intense. The vehicle itself is uncomfortable. Oh, Tri the vehicle is super yeah. uncomfortable. The Triceratops spin. There's However, two, two rows of seating. The person in the front controls up and down. The person in the back controls pitch, right? So I no, think no, that's no, no. Cool. You need to understand that when I rode this, there were two adults in the front of the dinosaur and there were two adults in the back of the dinosaur. Because that's how call. they decided to seat us. It was not the greatest call. 
It was interesting. That is a cool but we magic still had pen. fun. I'm, I'm jealous of you for having this. I, uh, I had to rush out and get it. So the other awesome limited edition thing that happened to be at Animal Kingdom, I don't think I would have rushed out to buy these in and of themselves, but since they were also there when I purchased the Magic Band. These are the heaviest pins I've ever seen. There are uh, currently two. I hope there are more. I hope they uh, issue more because these are just birds and there are other animals. This is like an there. owl under arrest. Yeah. Look, he's like... Hands up. Put your hands up, Owl. So these are limited edition Mary Menagerie. Not Mary Menagerie. Mary Menagerie. You open it, it opens from the bottom. From Animal Kingdom, celebrating the holidays at Animal Kingdom. Uh, I think. Bambi. So that's the Owl, and you open them up, and it's got Bambi and Flower and Thumper inside. That doesn't make a lot of sense to me. No, it doesn't. This one makes way more sense. It is heavy. That is very heavy. And they are heavy. And uh, this is the second pin. So as of right now, there are only two. Like I said, I hope they're issuing more the in this set. I would like to see more. So uh, when I bought these, I was talking to the cast member, and he's like, what kind of bird is this? And I'm like, let's say it's a dove, because otherwise it's a pigeon. And doves are definitely the more attractive bird. But this one, Eric, has the tree of life inside. Oh, there you go. That makes so more it's sense. kind of got this like tree of life awakenings mm -hmm. vibe going yeah. on. These are $19.99 each. At, I've got these both at Discovery <laughs> Island Traders. Uh, this is a weird bark poppy. Trading post. Um, and for reference, the Magic Band, all the limited edition box Magic Bands are now $39.99. They used to be $34.99, and then Disney mm -hmm. upped the price a few months ago. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if this is still available. It was available on Wednesday when I bought it, but it's small edition, so I'm not sure if it's still out there or not. <laughs> Eric has wrangled Poppy. <laughs> she wants to play, get, like... Play chase, I guess, but I caught her. She did get groomed this week. They didn't take a lot off. They just cleaned her up. Take a little, a little off the top. She got groomed. She went to the um, to Bark Nona. Put your. I'm I'm under her. No, she put put them between her legs. She I know, but she doesn't want me to. No. There it's not you like, go. Um, went to Bark Nona to get a temperament check to so make sure she can coexist with other dogs. Oh, because you have to put mm -hmm. her in a kennel for a few days while we go. And to she passed. Day. Very good. Should not like that long car ride. Mm -mm. Poor pop star. Poor pop star. All right. So we've shown off the pins. We've shown off the pins. Magic so what band. do we want to do next? Should we um, do... Oh, so before we get to the main... Attraction. Attraction. Couple things I picked up today. Yeah, let's do this. Impulse buys. I have no discipline apparently. I just want to tell you that I got a text message from Eric saying, I just bought a bunch of stuff I shouldn't have bought, and I blame you for normalizing this behavior for me. Correct. So this is my fault. Everything's my fault. Except when it's Jason's fault, but otherwise it's my fault. Uh, these are the 50th um, Fab 50 character Christmas ornaments. These are the Epcot good. ones. Look at, look at Figment, though. I know, Figment's looking look good. So you have uh, Miguel. You have Rocket and Baby Groot. You have Joe Gardner. You have Olaf. And you have the main man. But true or figure. false, Joe Gardner, the Fab 50 Joe Gardner statue is not actually in Epcot. Correct. Right? It's That's in correct. It's Hollywood Studios. We're not sure who made these decisions. <laughs> this merch was probably decided on a long time ago. So there was a soul exhibit at Epcot. That is true. But the soul, Joe Gardner the statue is not there. So, at American um, Adventure. Do I want to take them out individually? You want to show them, show them the packaging first and I'll take them out. Oh, I can already tell they have pretty iridescent ribbons. They do. Oh, oh we just said iridescent. Those are the best Every ones. time we say iridescent, I don't know if you know this, but there's a drinking game in the chat sometimes amongst oh. maybe some of your family members. Iridescent is, but that's the name of the that collection that launched today. When we say the word iridescent, Specifically, the word iridescent. They have to drink. Well, that is iridescent drink. is the name of the collection that launched today, that and correct. it is the official it name is. of this finish. It is called iridescent. The color. You're welcome. I too am drinking every time you say the word iridescent. 
What was that? I'm sorry, iridescent? I said iridescent. Yeah. Oh, that, remember that Billy Joel song? Yeah. Keeping a faith? Iridescent socks with the same color shirt. And it's a pair of What? The bases of them are cute. I thought yeah. they were gold too. No, they're super cute. Uh, so here's Miguel. Let's hear it, Lily. What's Miguel say? No. Oh. No. She does the Greedo. Oh, no. look. Hey, y'all. Okay, so they're, Show them they're their not butt. terribly heavy. Yeah. So Show them your the, larboard side. Get, get a butt. But they're... Um, they have a, like a jewelry they, clasp. Yeah, they, it's removable. You could take the clip... That's super cute. The lobster claw off. That's Detail impressive, actually. Good. And the base is more... It's hard to tell on the camera here. The base is definitely more pink. The statue itself is more gold. I do want to point out the fact that this ornament set is $50. Yep. So that's like ten dollars per ornament, which actually for Disney ornament prices is not bad. Especially when you see the ornaments we're about to unbox. Oh well, yes, yes, yes. Oh, and they have they. Oh, this is like. Is it wood? No, I resin. think it's some kind of resin. Yeah. There you can see the fifty on it. This is a very strange rocket. He should be holding a machine gun, but doesn't. But he's got Groot, he baby Groot, Groot. and that. Although I feel like that's not a hundred percent proportionate. No, baby Groot is not that tiny. Baby Groot was various sizes as he grew up. Right. This just seems really small, doesn't he? Doesn't mm -hmm. that seem very small? Rocket's mm -hmm. not big. But baby Groot maybe started out very small. Like most babies. Are you saving the best for last? And best for last. Wow, wow, wow. I just want him. I don't want the rest. I just Electron want beams and crystal prisms. Gyroscopes, Gyroscopes and magnetisms. Eyes big and yellow. Points of a steer. But how lovable fellow. From, From head to tail. These royal purple pigments. And there. Voila. You've, you've got, got a figment. And there you go. Now we're going to get demonetized because that was perfectly on pitch and perfectly identical sure algorithmically. And the um, iridescent... You had in your house last weekend, two of them. I did. Yeah. One large, one small. Mm -hmm. yes. The uh, iridescent collection launched today and there's the pin. $14.99. We didn't actually want anything else from the iridescent collection. Because it all just looks like old stuff. Yeah. I have a comment about this particular item. Can we take the pen off of the backing? You can't even see the pen because the backing is... Take them off. I got two. Take it so off, Lee. Take with, it all off. You can't really see the pen because the backing is so shiny. Does not translate well on camera. No. There. Like me. There we go. Now you can at least see what color he looks like. He's cute, though. He is. That's a pretty color. And yet, it's not rose gold. Just to but clarify, also kind this of rose is gold. not rose gold, but also it's pretty rose gold. And then here's the impulse buy. This this monstrosity, which I'm actually pretty jealous of. I said, Eric, if you regret this decision, I will take it. For, I will buy it off you. What do you think? So cute. The 50th anniversary monorail playset. I love passenger that. cabins and functioning. It. Doors. It functioning. It has the arch that you climb through. Yeah. Yeah. Functioning yeah. doors, which real monorails don't even have. Okay, how am I going to do I don't the know. The doors, they open. <laughs> All right. Let's see. If I First commercial I ever did voiceover um, for for us. It's, got, it's monorail gold. Oh, I don't even know how to show it. You know what? Next episode, we'll set it up and have it going. Oh, we'll take a that video. That could be of this. like the Christmas episode. Yeah, because I think um, this is, might go around one of our Christmas trees. Oh. If Poppy allows it. It has a description on the back. Okay, I'll read the description. This is a hundred and twenty-four dollars, I think. Hundred. AP discount. Yeah, before the AP discount, one twenty-four ninety-nine. Here's your description off the back. 
uh, passenger cabins, and functioning doors, authentic monorail sounds. Includes over 14 feet of track, 12 curved and two straight pieces that make 61 and a half inches by 49 inch oval or 49 inch circle configuration. Five cars, one arch, one platform, one staircase, two railings, two benches, one plant, one clock, 15 support poles, and four accordion style joints. The plan is to put it around the base of a Christmas tree. Yeah, we're going to have to, that'll be the smaller Christmas tree. Yeah, we'll get if this. Poppy if, po if Poppy. If Poppy can tolerate a monorail going around in circles in the house. You may have to put the, put the gate up around it or something. Uh, real quick. Oh. One more viewer package. Um, Lint Hatcher, uh, as we know, he uh, gave me the Haunted Mansion zine. And actually, we already had this package for Jill, but she wasn't here when it came in. And uh, this is more what of his I'm work. I just want to show it off real quick. I'm gonna have to open it the hard way. What? It's actually addressed to you, Jill, so. Oh, there's a whole letter. Hello to everyone. You don't have to read the whole thing. It's WWNT. You know. Okay. If you don't want to. Uh, I especially hope to get copies to Tom, Jill. I know she worked on a magazine for some time, and Eric Morton, but with his Haunted Mansion guest room. I've included enough copies for them. I don't want to ignore Nick, Pete, Miss Allison, Eric Wolf, and so many other people. So this is, this is Lint's comic book. Wow. Oh, it's all the same one that we've done. Wow. These are still beautiful. So wow. more for the squad. He actually had given these, sent these to Jill prior to me um, showing them off last time, but you were out of town and... So these now are great. We'll make sure that now people... Now we got extra. We'll make sure Tom gets one. I've spent a little time looking at it, too. Pretty cool. Excellent. Thank you cool. so much. These are gorgeous. Move, move. Uh, where can we tell other people that they can get these from you? Uh, it's Wonder... It's... Is it at the top? Wonderportal.com. Wonder Patrol. Oh, I'm sorry. Wonder, Wonder Patrol. Portal Patrol. Wonder Patrol. Um... So anyway, thank you so much. Check out Wonder Patrol. They're awesome. They're so awesome. That's like so much creativity. I love like I you can put together an entire like. It mostly just makes me jealous that other people could do stuff like this and I can't. I can. It's probably I probably wouldn't do a very good job of it. Um. Thank you again. Thank you. And, These um, are beautiful. Check I'll make it sure out. Tom gets one. You bought one. <sighs> All right, so as you probably saw on our website last week, for the small sum of a hundred dollars, ninety nine ninety nine ninety nine ninety nine, uh, Christopher Radko's at it again with new. He's at it again. Fiftieth. That that scamp, Christopher Radko. <laughs> He's at it again with fiftieth anniversary uh, park icon ornaments. You wanna? And I don't know what order do we're going to do them in. I'm not going to do um, that. I will say that... Um, I know what this one is. These don't all belong... None of these belong to Jill or Eric. No. These belong to I, uh, some of them, my friend Kent, some to our friend one. Josh, so... Yeah. That, that specific one at the... We'll save that one for last. That's on loan to us from, like, one of our museum collection partners from a different exhibition. I'm... Okay, the very first one, we got the castle. Oh, well, there you go. These are um, amazing, amazing, extremely fragile. So this was the errand. I went on this errand last week. No, was For it Kent, really Yeah, it was last week? week. Yeah, my friend Kent needed three, and Jill happened to be in the right place at the right. I was in the right place at the right time to do um, a friend. When a friend asks you for help, you help him. When a friend asks for help, you help him. Now, for a hundred dollars, I thought maybe it would come with the ribbon to hang it, but maybe not. It might be in there somewhere. Wrong, so here you go. I'm afraid to touch it. They're beautiful. It I know stunning. they're insanely expensive. I mean, obscenely expensive. But okay, this thing is gorgeous. It is. I mean, as sparkly and detailed. And that's not even the best one. I think one thing that's cool about it is you can see it has like a glitter on it. Yeah, it does. But it's not like they just it's finished an ornament and sprayed some glue on it and threw glitter yeah, at it. It's actually the glitter is a different color. They are all handmade. The they are 
fully handmade. It's got the 50th castle decorations on it. So yes, the bunting and the 50th uh, medallion in the front and if you'll notice the base has the Walt Disney yeah. World 50th anniversary but those are all Magic Kingdom icons on the base of the castle so each oh I see Space Mountain on there there are Pirates. there's an ornament for all four parks and each park's base has icons from that park and it's on the got base. this I'm trying to figure out how to show it there's a little charm on top Stop. Like a, like a star. Hang on. Is the ribbon? Like a star of David. Is the ribbon thing. like in here no. separately or no, 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 there's no. just no ribbon? Oh, no. If you can afford these ornaments, you can afford your own ribbon. I just think a hundred dollar Christmas ornament should come with the ribbon. I think a hundred dollar Christmas ornament should come with its own like. Maybe they think you'll tie up their floral like, Maybe wire. Maybe they think your personalized interior designer is going to tell you what color scheme. Matches All I know best is this white box is a generic white box that you get at the Christmas shop at Disney Springs. It is not a box specific to these ornaments, and I think the biggest failing is that these ornaments should have had their own specific boxes. Please tell Eric we must be Mikey Muse monorail playset with new clarity. I don't know what that is. Mickey out. views? So this is the beauty that is Spaceship Earth as an expensive Christmas ornament. I'll be right back. Someone's at the door. Poppy's excitable. There's somebody at the door. This is glass. Isn't it so pretty? And it's got this like really interesting swirl through Spaceship yeah. Earth. So you, you get this it. like dynamic sort of visual effect. You can actually effect. see the swirl better yeah. on camera than you can in yeah. person, I think. Yeah. Okay. But it's really nice. Look, we have guests. We have guests. Come on, Desi, you can say hi. Desi, stop by. Desi! Hello! Desi's here! Hello. We have friends of the show. Okay. All kinds of people. You just never know. Coming to visit. My friend had a tree full of these and the tree fell over. Oh, that had to cost like a thousand dollars at least. I've got some old wrappers, so, but they're not busy. That is, should I get the castle back out? Do we want to line them all up? Should we should. I? Well, we can line them up as we go, like once we're finished. Okay, but, I repacked it, but I'm going to pull it back. Out. So I just need to tell you, this is my favorite. The Hollywood Tower Hotel. That's amazing. Jake's not doing his job, by the way. <laughs> the Hollywood Tower Hotel is, in my opinion, the best one of this set. The level of detail on this ornament is so intricate and so exquisite. And mind you, I would just go buy this one. These are eggshell fragile. These yes. are very yes. light and very thin. Yes. I mean, they are. They weigh like, they weigh nothing. They all weigh nothing. It's all like blown, all hand painted, hair, yeah. But that, that, that one is spectacular. That is spectacular. What icons does it have on the bottom? Uh, you got your tower, you got your falcon. Uh, that's a really good question. That's the animation arch. That looks like an army man. Then you got, uh, What's his face from Fantasmic? Pixar. Turnabog? Luxo. No, Maleficent the Dragon. Uh, <gasps> Maleficent the Dragon. Speaking of Fantasmic, if you've seen, there are new wishables that came out this week. But they have not yet made it to Walt Disney World. But they are Fantasmic wishables. So rest assured, if they make it to Walt Disney World, I will hunt them down because I need that Maleficent wishable like I need to breathe. What did you say, Lily? Somebody said join Wigs for even more content. <laughs> join Wigs. Well, for yeah, even yeah. More thanks content. for the Wigs plug. Uh, shout out to all the Wigs in the chat. Wigs, the WWNT Interglobe Society. Uh, that is our Patreon group. You can support us that way. Uh, Patreon.com forward slash WWNT or WWNT.com forward slash Patreon. Um, while I'm plugging things, something very important is going on this oh, week. Oh, it, it sure is. Um, we're having an auction to I'm support. Make you wait for the last order. We're having an auction to support Give Kids the World. Mm -hmm. uh, Give Kids the World uh, takes kids who are uh, critically ill mm -hmm. and gives them a spe an experience where they can forget about their troubles and things for a while, and they bring them down. They have a beautiful village in Kissimmee 
Uh, in fact, we have a tree there that we've sponsored. We do. They have a tree trail. For the, and the we tree trail. A tree on their and we tree sponsored a tree I think our tree was very beautiful. And um, hopefully, if you get a chance when you're down here, go check it out. They have the, it's a, called the Night of a, is the tree trail part the of the Night of a Million Lights? Is that all the same I don't thing? know if they're connected, but I'm sure mm -hmm. you can see one when you do the other. Right. So, um, Give Kids the World. Anyway, very important charity. Um, we will be supporting two different charities this fall. Uh, one is Give Kids the World, and you that's can support the auction that that's now right now on auction.wdwnt.com. Yes. We have some super cool items. We have um, some of the 50th anniversary resort magic bands from Fort Wilderness and from Polynesian. We have some mini main attraction merchandise from last year. So if you maybe missed out on the Haunted Mansion mini main attraction stuff and you want it, we have the entire collection. Mm -hmm. We have some cool stuff from... Um, when Tom went to uh, Paris all for the opening of uh, Hotel New York, the Art of Marvel, there's some great stuff from Hotel New York, Art of Marvel. There's a Sana menu. There's a Sana menu. <laughs> there's um, a great Judy Hopps badge from, I want to say, Shanghai. Like, there's stuff from all the international parks. There's stuff from the 50th anniversary, the 50th anniversary poster that you got if you were here in Magic Kingdom the day of the 50th experiences? anniversary. Experiences? There are experiences. Talk about the experiences, Eric. Are there you any can... ways to hang out with you people? There, as a matter of fact, yes. Upon request. Uh, <laughs> number one, you can hang out in uh, Disney Park with Tom Corliss. Yeah. Uh, that's going for a pretty high amount. It's like right $2,000. Spend a day with Tom. Spend Learn to uh, pick his Tom. brain. Yeah. Um, have everyone stop you every 10 feet and recognize you. Hey, you're um, Tom Corliss. Hey, you're Tom Corliss. Um, we'll even get, I'll throw in a plaid shirt for you to wear. You can walk right next to Tom wearing a plaid yeah. shirt. Yeah, match, matchy, um, matchy. We have, uh, you can ride in Nick's Maxi van. You can. Maybe you should. need to be picked up from the airport. You should. And you want to do it in style and luxury with a foot bath and, and uh, entertaining DVDs along the way and uh, some refreshments. You bid on that. You can bid on, uh, outside the bubble, you can hang out with... <laughs> Eric, Axel, and Pete, and Jill is an optional add-on, no a, additional I'm like cost. lightning lane on yeah. this excursion. Free lightning lane, though. Yeah. Jill upon um, request. That's what the, the item description says. Jill upon request. And there's a WDW News Tonight VIP Package, experience yes. where you can get a front row seat and hang come, out with us come have the dinner show. with us and yeah. you know we'll let you mop up the place after everyone leaves if you want please do somebody please has do. to you can be the first person to ever mop in there that's not named eric and um yeah so check it out auction.wwnt.com the auction ends sunday we're gonna have a wrap-up show is it sunday at eight jake saturday. saturday i'm sorry saturday at eight tomorrow at eight Sunday at 8 is Park Center. Saturday at 8. Tomorrow at 8. Wrap up. Yeah. So Tom will be live uh, going through, if you've ever experienced our charity marathon shows and you've experienced the live auction part of the show before, that's kind of what we're doing, but for Give Kids the World and for, you know, this whole other set of merchandise. So all the stuff that's up for auction right now for Give Kids the World is completely separate and different and will not be available in the separate charity show that we're doing over after Thanksgiving weekend. Mm -hmm. So they are two separate things. If you want one, get it now because it's not going to show up again in the next auction and vice versa. Right. So um, our charity auction show will be benefiting Toys for Tots. As we do. Uh, which was Every a, year except last year, a charity that was near and dear to Walt. It was. Uh, me as a uh, someone who served in Indeed. the Marine Corps. It's a Marine Corps um, created charity. Yep. So uh, that's going to mean a lot too. Uh, but this weekend, give kids the world. So before we open the last ornament, I just want to say, I just had a sip of this. Is it? I've had a little ice melt into it and stuff. It, I think it's, it's getting, getting better. better. It's, it's getting, getting better. better. Yeah. I have, so here's a thing I've learned in the last few weeks of drinking uh, what were some really expensive and rare bourbons in New York and down here is that bourbons change. They change with air. They change with heat or not heat they change with water and you you could just find the right mix okay let's do it our are you excited ornament. are you ready i am so this is on loan from our um special museum partners in winter gardens and this is the last of the park icons wow wow i actually i love this one they're all beautiful 
But to be weirdly, like weirdly, I think the castle is the least pretty of all. Uh, I I don't know. I think isn't that strange? They're I all like gorgeous. the castle. Uh, these three, I think, are the most gorgeous. The tree of life is cool. But it's like got like the like goes from gold to green, and it's got all the detail of all the animals in the base. I love this. I think it's just somebody just said broccoli. <laughs> or it looks like a big. Or it does look like broccoli. Animals on the base. You can see. Here, I don't know what that is. A meerkat, maybe little birds. So you got your tree of life. You got your safari vehicle. You got your. What are those called? What are those upside down trees called? Bill, Bill, oh, those ones that. Baobab. 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 Giraffe. All kinds of animals. Everest. Eric, is that thing we have not gotten around to opening yet? I feel like we're still not getting around to opening on this episode. 20 minutes. Tiger, if you want. monkey, All right. alligator, crocodile, etc. All right, so Lee, if you want to pan the camera down here, we've got everything arranged. All the Christmas ornaments. All the ornaments. The whole squad is here. It's a squad here. of ornaments. Look how pretty they are, though. No, seriously, these are really, like... Pretty awesome. <sighs> you want to really do it, tempted, Joe? I'm really tempted to go buy these red co-ornaments for myself. I'm sorry, Lee wants to rearrange. Well, you can't only see. Okay, there you go. There. All four parts. There you have it. Ta-da! 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 Should we do it? Let's do it. Eric wants to blow through it. Let's we're going to blow through it. Um, I don't know how we're going to do this with the amount right. of stuff. You're going to start, and I'm going to pack up the ornaments. Okay. While you start. Okay. While you start the process. This is the one for the castle, I know. And I won't pack it, but I'll put it in here and set it aside. These ornaments right. are not ours, so we actually have to be careful with them. These are the... Uh, I don't want to be held responsible. 50th anniversary mystery pin collection. We've had these for like a month now, obviously. And we keep saying, oh, we're going to do this, we're going to do this, and, and then we, we never keep do running it. out of time on the show. I'll tell you this. There's a lot. There's, there's a lot of these. There's there are 10 boxes? Is that accurate? And I think there are 10 pins. And there are two pins in each box, right? I don't know. I will find out. I'll get us started. If I can find my knife. Get this party started. It's over here. By oh. The, by the oh, can you hear me the knife, Joe? Actually, I may... Yeah, probably make yeah the knife is probably the right tool. I'm going to take these away from the microphone for all the rest of it. I'm not exactly sure the best way to open this without destroying the box. Because I want to keep the box intact so Lee can show everyone what the whole collection is. So the collection is Alice in a Teacup. <laughs> and uh, Figment. Can you tell several uh, other Big Al. Um, Remy. Oh, that's um, um, Smart One. Smart One. Core. Remy. Uh, who's that guy? It looks like Shariki Yutundu, but it's not. No, it can't be Shariki Yutundu. No. But Big Al. Mm -hmm. um, Madame Leota. Madame Leota. Monsieur To... No, what is that? That's... I don't know. That's um, the guy from... That's the Spirit of 3D. From What's his name? Muppet Waldo, the, the Spirit Waldo? of 3D. Orange, Orange Bird. Bird. I don't know who this is. Lee, we need help. I don't know if I'll know. We these need... two... We don't know who these two are. Sure. We don't know them by name. I know them by sight. Oh, the food oh, rocks guy. It's um the middle one is not food wrapper, is it? Dairy is it guy. Or food rocks are from Kitchen Cabaret. He's no. milk. Oh, Kitchen That's Cabaret. Kitchen Cabaret. Okay, it's the milk. I couldn't tell. It looked like Mr. Toad for a second. He did look like Mr. Toad for a second. All right. I, the, I would think the middle guy is from like fr something from like Jungle Cruise or. Yeah, but it seems a little contrary chat to their current chat. initiatives. What is chat saying? I don't know. Ask the chat. Right, chat. chat has all the answers. No, what about the, the tiki room looking guy in the middle? Smart one. <gasps> we got smart one. There's a smart one that you can buy off eBay that's like this little like wind-up guy. 
I like these little packages too. These are oh, very gold. pretty. Oh, they're gold. They're gold. Ah. Oh, now, now it's easier to see what this looks like, Mr. Milk. Oh, it's much easier to see what it looks it, like. Yeah, it's easier to see when you hold the pin in your hand than it is looking at the back of the box. All right, so we've got a pile of these suckers. Pull some more out and see what we got here. I think you guys from Small World. Oh, it's from Small World? Is he like the Polynesian? What's the best way to open these, from the bottom? I don't know. I opened that from the top, but this one's a little tougher. This, this one is in the Polynesian section of Small World. All right. So anyway, for those of you dreaming about one day having an unboxing show, my first bit of advice Struggle. is learn how to open boxes. I got Madame Leota. There you go. All right, we got a Leota. We're going to line these up as we do. And what is my second pin? It feels pretty small. Spirits, wherever they're... I got Mr. Milk. You got him? All right, got Mr. Milk. Mr. Milk. So this one Mr. doesn't Milk really already. look, this one, the shape is Three not like Three pins anything. in and we already have a duplicate. Four pins in and we already have a duplicate. That's not great. Oh. Big Al. <gasps> Big Al. Sing it. Bow. There <laughs> was blood on the saddle. And blood all around. Alice in a teacup. I feel like this is like the great 50th pin race. What's next? What's next? Oh, I got really another duplicate. Alice is having a really I got really another good smart time. one. Okay. But he's adorable, so I might have to confiscate him. These are Jason's pins, by the way. Just so you're all aware, these yeah. are Jason's pins. We're opening your pins, Jason. Ooh. What do you have? Oh, I have Should I show what yet. I have? Yeah, show what you got. Figment! Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, And I also have Figment. I think they're just little sparkles. Are they like little... There's like little spots on them and stuff. Like, I think they're meant to look like Starburst. Yeah. Yeah. Here's a Figment also. These boxes and then I got... to open. What's your second? Remy. Remy. Ah, oui, oui. Oh, oui, oui. The little shit. Oh, I know somebody who wants this pin. I don't know. What so, for the record, these boxes are $17.99 a piece. You get two pins in each box. <gasps> uh -oh. I got Waldo. What? Yeah. Waldo. The spirit of 3D. The spirit <laughs> of 3D. It turns a mini I'm bouncing on people's heads. They've chosen for some of them. Yeah. Agree. That's all. That's like fiftieth buy. You have another out of the box, right? I do have. No, no, no. I. Oh, I do. Yeah. I do. You do. Where are we at? Let's see what we got. Is it new? Is it old? Oh no, another Remy. Okay. Oh. We're we're hitting hard on duplicates this time around, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, uh, and I have the guy from It's a Small World, <gasps> yeah. the drummer. Aluda, you have a super chat. Super chat. Super chat. Two dollars. Oh. WW Mitch. Don't damage my boxes. Signed, Jason. <laughs> Jason doesn't care about the boxes. I care more about. The ah. Boxes. Jason doesn't. Another new one. Is it Orange Bird? Orange Bird. The Orange Bird. Oh, that might disappear. So just don't say that. Jason's eye. watching. Eric, we have a full set now. We got a full set. The Eric. rest is gravy. Oh, we have a full set. Disappeared. He's with me. And we have no set. triples. So it's possible we could get two full sets. Do it. Let's see what we can do. Come on, let's do it. I think the orange oh, bird and one is, of the is gone. By the way, this is um not a, a box. Oh open. wow! Don't oh don't tear that box open. Limited um, edition. Look what I found in the bag. It's another bonus 50th anniversary pin, but not a mystery one. I don't think we're even taking that out, are we? I don't think we're taking that no. out of the box. <laughs> Uh, no, the only way to up. open these boxes is to mangle them. Yeah, that's true. These boxes are not fun. That's a, does that open? Mm, it does. Yeah. It does. Oh. <gasps> I got another big owl. There we go. I got another big owl. Uh, 
I'm, gonna, what, I'm calling the other Big Al. I claim, I claim the second Big Al. Okay. I'm pretty sure I know what this one is, but go ahead. My second pin is another Archbird. Ooh. I think yes. I hold, I think I hold in my hand another Madame Leota. Oh. Are we going to get two full sets? We're Madame so Leota. You got a Madame Leota. We're so close to two and, sets. Oh. You know what? This we only need three more pins. could be another Alice. <gasps> could be. I might have to. It is. Yes. Now we have. Now the only one we don't have a duplicate of is the drummer guy, right? And Remy. No, I'm sorry, oh, Waldo. Waldo. We just need the drummer guy and, and Waldo. Waldo. Oh, and I just got Waldo. Yay. <laughs> I hate that guy so much. Worst original character ever created in the Disney parks. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. I'm thinking. Chuby? He's Chuby's I would, cuter I would though. Take Chuby yeah. over that guy. Chuby's the not Chuby doesn't actually This do guy's anything. created just to be annoying. But he does annoying. his job. That's what he's designed for. <gasps> and two full sets. Yep, we got two full two sets. Full and we're not even done. Lee, can you show off the beauty that is exactly nothing more and nothing less? Exa nothing more and nothing less than two full sets. sets. Take away two full one of the sets. Orange birds and one of the Remy's just because they might, they might get they lost. Gonna get, they're going to disappear. Let's see what our extras are. I'm curious. And then the rest is just We have extra four stuff. more. We have four you, more. You have a box and I have a box. Orange bird. Yay! Perfect. Triplet. A thing that triplicate. We, need, we could use an extra of. Is Jason in the chat like, wow. Is Jason uh, in the chat Drummer like, guy, we now have triples of the drummer guy. I think Stop. Jason's in shock right now. Stop stealing yeah. all Are we done? Stop is that it? Calling all, well, I have two more. Okay. I have another drummer guy. Four I've drummer guys. Four drummer guys. Come here. Like most, like most rock bands, they go through like at least four drummers. John Paul Jones. Keith Moon. And another orange bird. Yay. Oh. And there you have it. That's how it's it, done. That's how you do it. That's why we watch Boxed In, right? That's why let's we stay glued to our television to see. Let's do this right now. And Jill is stealing on live TV <laughs> from her brother. <laughs> the problem is he's going to be staying here during Thanksgiving when we're gone so he can just steal it all back. But Jason, we have pie. I just want to talk to you about the fact that there will be an apple, a pumpkin, and a pecan pie at Thanksgiving. That's all you need to know. Well, this has been quite a journey. It's been quite a journey. Jason said you guys did great, but the boxes are destroyed with the frown. You don't face. care about the boxes. No. You could not not destroy these boxes. These boxes are designed to be destroyed. They are not created with um, the ability to open them without tearing because it's all just glued shut. Well, I had a great time, Jill. I had a great time. I always have a great time. I'm I think it's because we cut our hair today. We both got haircuts. We're my hair is the color it's supposed to be today. Feel mine is too. It. Not the color it is, the color it's supposed it's to be. It's just the color it's supposed yeah. to be. So uh, that's it from here. Again, uh, check out the auction, auction.wdwnt.com. It's for a great cause. There's we really, really are trying cool to raise stuff. a lot of money for this. There's really cool stuff. There and may then, be some wishables that we might have actually opened on the show. And then, it's entirely yep. possible that the wishables in that auction, some of the wishables in that auction are wishables that were open on the show. Then stage. you might, might have a couple more paychecks until the other auction for a marathon show. Marathon show, by the way, confirmed the opening act for the marathon show does not account against the 50 hours. A two-hour spectacular... Locked, locked in, in with, with the Eric. Mortons. All the Mortons. Locked in with all the Mortons. What about next Friday? Next, next Friday. Friday. Oh, we could have all the Mortons on a on a. So okay, we need. <gasps> to No, talk that's about probably next a terrible all, idea. All Here's Mortons. the thing. So next Friday, we can't really currently make any promises about what's going to happen with Boxed In next Friday night. That's a fair statement. We have we have some ideas, but we can't really promise you what's going to happen. What are your ideas, Jill? I'll just say everybody knows that watches the show next Friday. Uh, We're going to be three of us in Louisville. Several Mortons and others will be in Kentucky on the Bourbon Trail. Yes, all the Mortons, all the boxed in uh, on air talents, all the some of the boxed in behind. The camera talents. Special guests, including but not limited to the other Lee. <gasps> the other, other Lee, Lee will be there. The other Lee who you've met on our show before. So 
Stay tuned. We'll give you news if there's going to be a show next week or not. There's also, Tom has a couple boxes from Tokyo. We can put something together for that. We're going to try to give you something next week. We just we'll don't know what it is yet. It will not be from this kitchen. It will not be from this kitchen. The kitchen is shut down. If it comes from By the, the health kitchen, department. call the police because yeah. there's a home invasion <laughs> happening. All right. Thanks so much for joining. Um, if, you, if you like what you see, you have ideas for us, uh, not in the live chat, but after the video is over, go ahead and put comments in the regular mm -hmm. comment chat. That helps the video. Um, we'd love to uh, grow this audience a little bit. Send us some and, uh, audience gifts to yeah. unbox, like what some of the stuff we got tonight. The address is in the show description. 1136 Celebration, Celebration Boulevard. 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 Don't go Boulevard. to Boulevard. Celebration Avenue. No. no That's no. someone's house. No, it is. It's okay. Celebration Boulevard. In the yeah. I copied and pasted yeah. out of Google maps Silver just to be sure Americans. i'll tell a, i'll tell a very i have a skill for giving people the wrong address apparently i'll tell a very fast story when i ordered the tent for the golden jamboree they oh. were on their way to set it up and the guy's like all right we're unloading we got the truck parked up we're about to get started it's a big white house on the corner right and i was like nope i He's assume that's what you know, apparently i don't know <laughs> It's like, nope, we're on Celebration Boulevard. 1136 Celebration Boulevard, Celebration Florida, 34747. And with that, uh, we bid you a fond farewell. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you on the other side. Bye, folks.